right. We got Deja in the house. Yes, we do. How's it going? It's going good. Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself. So I'm Deja Montoya, the Tuna Princess, and I'm here with Vontae Vision. We're about to do an interview. All right. I love it. I love it. So uh, I want to talk about your music today. Um, what first got you into music? So what first got me into music was actually I was in high school and uh, around the time what was really popular was for people to get in groups and rap to rap each other and at the time I would watch it and I I liked it like I was like I could rap like I could do that and at the time I already liked to write and like poetry all that so I was like what's the difference me just getting on a beat and doing that you know so that's what really got me into it I started rapping doing that I started watching videos on YouTube of people rapping and like kids my age they'll be rapping like in their cars and stuff and I was like, I want to do that. Like, I want to do more of that. So I started doing that. I started making videos in my car just of me rapping. And then from there, after I did that, then it just kind of led into me actually going to the studio and actually getting the song out like that. Okay. So how, how old were you around that time when you first At got first, into it? first, like 14, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, 14. So I was like a freshman, I think, in high school. Freshman, sophomore when I first started doing music. Dope, dope. And, and so who inspired you to make music? inspired me honestly at the time everybody that i was watching just like the kids my age doing it i would watch um other artists at the time and just listening to like their stories how they made music how it came to be really just watching people like that that inspired me to want to make music for myself that's dope so how would you describe the music that you typically make the music i typically make i would say it's poetic, I think, because before I started making music, I was writing poems. So when I, do, when I make music now, it's in that same format, you know, it's like a poem and I'm just putting it on a beat. So I would say poetic, I guess. Oh, that's, that's dope. Um, so what's the whole creative process like for you? My creative process is really like, a, like an emotional kind of process. I really make my music off of whatever emotion I'm feeling. So I just write it out, whatever. Every song that I made, that was off an emotional, like, whim. Like, you know, that's where it came out of. So I would say my creative process is like that, very emotional. Just depends on my emotion. Okay, that's dope. So who would you like to collaborate with the most? Like, anybody? Could be anybody. Anybody, anybody. Who would I like to collaborate with most? Well, like locally, local artists. Yeah, let's do both. Let's do both. Bo lo both? Okay, both. so like local artists, I want to collab with Heine Next Door, Killer K. Still got a Juliana, still got to do a collab with him. Um, there's a lot of collabs that I had to do locally. I have, Yeah, there's a lot I had to do. But I guess for like celebrity who I'd want to collab with. Really who I'd want to collab with? is um i don't know if you know his name's little papa he's little like papa. A, yeah he's like an upcoming rapper right now and that's how I, that's how i want to collab with why, why him he has a different like rhyme scheme like the way he goes into beats like he just it's like a line after a line after a line and sometimes they cut into each other it's just crazy so i can't imagine like his writing process so i'd want to see that you know mm. so yeah that's who i collab with i think that's dope so if you could open up for any artist who would it be if I could, honestly, if I could open up for any, any artist, I like more of like, personally, I like more artists that would be considered like underground, maybe more under the radar. So truthfully, who would I want to open for? It, GB, um, anybody really that I've worked with in the 209, I would want to open for anybody here. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say GB though. I would want to open for GB. That's that's dope. I, I I like his music. I I like. Uh, oh, you do know you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Like he's his dope. Music. <laughs> uh, what is one message that you would like to give to your fans? Honestly, the whole message that I'm trying to get across in every one of my songs is pain is power. That's bottom line. That's what I'm trying to get across in it. I'm trying to take something that everybody has experienced, everybody can relate to, no matter how different the situations may be. I'm trying to get that pain and fueling it and understanding that that can be turned into a strength. And once you realize that, that the pain can be strength, that's when I feel you'll be able to heal. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to get across. Pain is power. Wow, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so do you sing in the shower and what songs? Yes, I do. Um, I'll be singing 
like I said, GB. We listen to a lot of GB. Um, Lil Bean, I don't know if you know who that is. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, um, Mozzie, Lil Papa, um, some Rod Wave, uh, Lil Baby. I've actually been getting kind of into Lil Baby a little bit. Um, but yeah, those type of people I'll be singing in the shower. <laughs> That's cool. So what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for, for music? If I wasn't doing music, I always think about this question. If I wasn't doing music, I know for sure that I would be doing something else other than nine to five. I'd be doing something. I'd be doing making food, doing plates. I'll be doing clothes, doing eyelashes, something. I know for a fact, I know I'll be doing something, you know, like in the, that I can do independently by myself. So something like that. So why, why do you feel about that with, with the nine to five? Um, I don't honestly I don't have nothing against nine to five because I personally I loved my nine to five, gave me a schedule, gave me consistency, gave me, you know, put me on like a schedule. So I don't have nothing against it. But I couldn't do I couldn't be what I wanted to be every day, you know? I had to wake up and be a cashier versus you know, I had to wake up five days a week, be a cashier, and then wake up the two days, and now I can be what I want, an artist, right, you know? Right. So the time it didn't, like, make sense to me. It was like, I'm putting all of this into my job. If I just move all that to myself, you know, then I could level up that way. No, I, I agree yeah. with you. I, I agree with you. There's nothing against the nine to five. Right, but. at all. <laughs> right, at all. It's just, you know when you're done with it and you want to go independently. <laughs> Absolutely. So... Where have you performed, and what are some of your least fa favorite venues? Um, I performed mostly Modesto. Performed right here by the studio I record at in the warehouse. Um, we performed there. Um, I've record. I've. I mean, I performed at um, a couple places here. I think like two bars here in Modesto that I performed at. Um, I went one time to Oakland, the complex, and oh, okay. I performed there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Mostly here, though, like, locally I perform more. Did, uh, or, what's your least favorite venue? Least favorite? And your, least favorite and your favorite. My favorite? Honestly, it was probably the one at the complex in Oakland just because it was, like, it was, that's what it's made for, you know, like it's a whole complex. They have like a place you could get, like, food and stuff and then mm -hmm. perform. So it was, like, a cool setup. And I've never been to anything, like, I don't know, like that. So it was cool for me. I guess the least, least favorite. And I don't know. I guess there was one venue I went to where, like, we were like the same level with the people, and mm -hmm. I, I like it to be like above, you know, so that you could like see everybody, and then like it's like Have I don't. Stage. That's kind of like the effect of performing, you know, like so, right. you know, so you could see everybody. And I just couldn't see everybody. So I guess that was my least favorite venue. I don't remember where it was at though. I just remember that 